How do you know her? My date. Your date for senior prom, that's right. Aiden Silverton has a lot to look back on during his years at Grand Blanc High School. A beloved athlete who was even crowned the school prince as a freshman. Next week, he'll score another achievement graduation. Like many of his classmates, he'll be going off to college, something his parents never thought possible. A year ago, I thought I saw him home indefinitely, and certainly when he was diagnosed and we absorbed all this, I mean, nothing close to what he is today would we have ever imagined, really. Aiden lives with Fragile X Syndrome, a genetic intellectual disability. And when a parent finds out that you know, they have a special need that probably won't include college, you, you mourn the loss of that dream. But then when you find out that there are these life programs sprouting up across the country, hope sprouts within you as a parent. You think there's a chance, you know, that they could go on and live more independently than they would at home, that, that they might experience as typical a college experience as possible. Think College, an organization dedicated to higher education opportunities for those with special needs, estimates there are about 149 college programs for students with intellectual disabilities in 2009. That's now up to 264. However, that number shrinks dramatically for students like Aiden, who are at around a first grade reading level. Clemson Life offers just what Aiden needs at Clemson University in South Carolina. It's highly competitive, with an acceptance rate lower than Tufts and Georgetown's. His parents didn't think he'd get in. We kept rehearsing how we would tell him this news. My husband and I just kept rehearsing. In March, they got the letter. Wait, he got it! Yeah. Aiden scored one of just 12 spots out of 74 applicants. It was a moment like I, I can't compare it to anything. Over the next few years, Aiden and his classmates will learn life skills like cooking and cleaning, get a job, take classes, and participate in many of the traditional college experiences. Go to football games, join Greek life, and live with roommates. Like most college-bound kids, Aiden can't wait. You excited to graduate? Yes, I am. Say yeah, yeah. And like most parents, Mom Jen is filled with mixed emotions. I'm mostly excited and so appreciative and honored that he got into the program. You know, the mom in me struggles with the distance, and um, I struggle with nobody's going to take care of him like I do. But what I need to remind myself is that I'm not sending him somewhere for someone else to take care of him. I'm sending him somewhere else to learn to take care of himself as best he can. I just, Mom. I can't imagine pulling away. Mom. I really struggle with that. Um, I just can't imagine driving away. For now, Jen and Dad Kimball are soaking up each moment with their first to leave the nest. Good luck at Clemson, Aiden. They hope Aiden will be embraced just as much in his new community as he is here. Whether you can spell or read or do math, when you know that you wake up every day and that you're included and accepted, that is a whole different place to be. And that is really what has launched him. It really is. And the Silvertons will make that big drive to South Carolina in August. And if you'd like to learn more about higher education opportunities for people with intellectual disabilities, we've posted a link to Think College on WNEM.com. I love their reaction when they got that acceptance letter. Oh, uh, oh it was so magical. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So inspirational. It was. Yes. A little emotional here. Congrats yeah, to Aiden. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> sure I'll hold back the tears. I was like, okay, got to be on in a few yeah. seconds. Well, yeah. congrats to Aiden and uh, thank you, Meg. Wonderful family That's and awesome. Aiden is incredible. Congratulations, Aiden. You yeah. did it. Yes. Thanks, Meg. <laughs>